844. Welcome back to Great Day for this Wednesday. Wednesdays at this time, we visit with our good friend from the Des Moines Register, Rika Basu. It's Rika's voice, and Rika has been coming through with guests, unlike anybody else. Indeed, who, I have. I've been bringing you some of the most special people here in town or visiting town, and today I have a very special guest, and it's the new boss at the Des Moines Register, David Shivers, who's just taken over about six weeks ago, is it? Uh, Four weeks ago. As four publisher, weeks four ago. weeks ago, yeah. but who's counting? Right. As publisher. <laughs> and, Apparently and he is. <laughs> <laughs> I think the sixth publisher that I've worked with in my years here, in my 23 or so years here, but David has a distinction of being an Iowa native, a Des Moines native, as yeah. a matter of fact, which which. All right, David, years. we need to get the rundown. We need to hear your resume. How did you get this gig at such a young age, to be totally honest? Yeah. Because uh, you are not an older gentleman uh, or lady, as it has been in the past. Yeah, I'm uh, I am thrilled to be part of the team. Okay, I, how uh, old are you? I'm 39 years old. Thir you're not even 40 years old uh, and you're in charge of the <laughs> register? Really? Uh, it's true, yeah. It's, uh, I pinch myself every morning. <laughs> and tell them what you were doing at the age of 12 in Des Moines. Uh, I was delivering the Des Moines Register. So, yeah, it's uh, like a full circle. That's right. I, I grew up on the north side of, uh, of Des Moines uh, over by Grandview College and uh, delivered the register for uh, three years. As uh, soon as I could get, it was the first job I could actually get where I uh, made some money, so uh, jumped on board and, and, and did that. Had a many, many uh, cold, dark uh, mornings of, of newsprint stained hands as I as I delivered to my neighbors. So. How cool is that? That you one, at one time you delivered the register and now you're overseeing the operation. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit surreal to me, to be honest. Uh, you know, if you'd asked me at 12 years old or 18 years old or 22 years old or for frankly at 35 years old, if I'd be in this role, I'd. I'd tell you you were uh, that was not. Right, how did you get there? What was your path to get? Yeah, there? sure. So um, you know, I, I grew up in Des Moines, went to North High School, graduated from North High School, went to Central College in Pella, Iowa. Um, you edited your North High newspaper. Edited the edited the North High Oracle for for a couple of years, and uh, after I graduated from college, like many young Iowans, I looked for the the closest big city, so I moved to Chicago for a few years. And what did uh, you do there? I, I did I did a, a number of things. I started out in nonprofit. I went to grad school. Um, and I worked for an electronics firm doing internal communications, PR, and investor relations. So where did you go to grad school? Uh, Roosevelt University in sure. the South Loop. Mm -hmm. uh, studied uh, marketing communications and uh, from there moved back to Iowa uh, after 9-11 happened. Uh, 9-11 that day for New Yorkers was, was a huge deal for, for Chicagoans. I think it was a, a moment of deep reflection. So my wife and I were in downtown Chicago seeing uh, the city um, being sort of uh, vacated for, for worries of, uh, of an attack there, and, and it gave us a moment to say, hmm, what are we doing? And so shortly thereafter, we moved back, uh, back to Des Moines, and uh, I started to work at, a, at an ad agency here in town called Erickson McClellan, which is now McClellan Marketing Group. Right. Uh, after that, I, I went to Meredith uh, Corporation, and I worked there in, uh, in, in their digital business, doing uh, being an e-commerce manager, uh, what we called online audience development uh, at the time, doing paid search, launching new sites. Uh, really, for me, Meredith is a, is, is a re really fond memory. It feels like where I grew up professionally. Um, then uh, I got a phone call out of the blue one day from a recruiter asking me if uh, if I'd be interested in moving to New York and taking a job there, and I said no, absolutely not. I'm pretty happy here. And uh, he said, well, I can't tell you who the company is, but let me see if I can. If I can, I think it'll be worth your time. So he called me back and said the Wall Street Journal was the company, and uh, I said, yeah, I'll take that call. <laughs> and so I went to uh, New York and I ran the digital subscription business for the Wall Street Journal. Uh, I then moved into a role running WSJ.com and what we called emerging products at the time, uh, really moving the journal's digital properties from uh, digital newspaper replica to a fully uh, immersive digital experience on all devices across platforms. Our team launched 
uh, the iPhone app, the Android app. Our first mobile app, surprisingly enough, was the BlackBerry uh, app, which at the time, 75% of our, our, our readers were using mm -hmm. Blackberries. Today, that's a very different number. Yeah, I, I was going to say, now, how many are Wa using them? Wall Street Journal, that's, a, that's a, a different type of publication where if you want to read an article, you need to be a subscriber. Is that true? That's right, even yeah. A, even digitally? That's correct, yes. Okay. So, so the journal, from the time they launched their digital business, really focused on this idea that content's worth paying for regardless of platform. So, um, and really that was one of the, the, the interests for me to take the role. First of all, I have a, a huge affinity for the Wall Street Journal. And then second of all, it was at the time uh, the only large scale paid consumer content uh, digital business out there. So at the time I, I, I joined, I think we were about a 750,000 uh, online subscribers, and, and when I moved over to my new role, we were at about a million. So uh, it was a good growth rate, uh, exciting time to be part of the part of the journal team because we really did a lot of really interesting things around uh, digital distribution and new product development. That was that was a lot of fun. And so, how did you get the call to come back to Des Moines? Yeah, so. Um, I ran another business at, at Dow Jones, which is the company that owns the journal, called uh, a business called Factiva, which is a business information service, mm -hmm. um, and did that for a couple years. Uh, and out of the blue, I got a call from a company called Jostens, which uh, it celebrates some of life's most important moments in sports and, uh, and the education. The ring people. The ring people, yeah. the yearbook people. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah um, they were looking for a chief digital officer based out of their uh, Minneapolis headquarters, and I thought, wow, what a great challenge and opportunity. Uh, I've spent the majority of my career in media. I thought it'd be an interesting uh, leap because some of the challenges I saw they were facing with uh, attracting millennials, uh, digital disruption were the same issues that we've been dealing with in the media business for a long time. Uh, took that job, I had a lot of fun, and uh, I actually was in the process of uh, entertaining a couple different opportunities, and I saw, actually my wife saw the, 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 this, this role was opened up, and she told me about it, and I thought, I really need to take this chance. If I if I don't, you know, if I don't contact uh, the folks at the register, I'll probably this will be one of those things that I think over the course of my life what could have been. So, uh, reached out to the folks at Gannett and had a series of grueling conversations, and uh, and and here I am. With all the opportunities that were in front of you, it sounds like you could have done a, a, a ton of different things. I know you have local yeah. ties, but you're in an industry that isn't so successful right now. You look at a lot of papers and they're kind of dwindling and, yeah. uh, and they're going digital, which it sounds like is, is a big background of yours, but yeah. why did you want to come back here and try and reboost this paper? Yeah, there's no doubt that it's a challenged industry. I mean, there's lots of factors that sort of lead to, to that, but what really excited me, one is this is a community that I care deeply about. You know, I'm, it's, it's foundational to, to sort of who I am. Um, and then I also grew up, uh, as I said before, delivering the register. The Des Moines Register has been a cornerstone of this community for so long. Um, and I'm a big believer in content and news. Uh, we have the largest newsroom in Iowa. Uh, we have an opportunity to do some things uh, with our with our digital businesses because of uh, the scale of our of our parent company, Gannett, that really attracted me to uh, to come here and try to try to amplify our impact in the community and and, and get back to growth. So. That is great. So, David, when, what years were you delivering the paper? Whew, man, you're trying me. Um, gosh, it would have been the, let's see, I graduated in 94. It would have been in the 80s. Okay, yeah. 80s. Well, then, the, then we have one important question that, sure. that I'm sure <laughs> people that are watching want us to ask. Sure. And we're the station that can ask these kind of questions. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, you're, you're the new guy in charge. Yeah. You can make things happen, correct? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's putting when it mildly. Are gonna, when are you going to bring the big peach back to the sports <laughs> section for you Sunday? Asked, I've, I've seen the interview with Rick. You ask this question every time we have the I want an answer. on. I want an answer. Well, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm four weeks into the role. <laughs> <laughs> now he's using yeah, my rookie card. Okay. All right. we got to give him some time, but are we going to see any big changes uh, right away or give you some time to get to know what's well, going on? Well, I need to learn. We have a great team. We have a great newsroom. We have a great advertising department that partners with uh, with a number of businesses around uh, around the, the state, and uh, we have some really good programs already underway. Um, but I do think that you'll continue to see really great things from us uh, at an accelerated pace in the near future. Okay. So.
If I could just add one word, when David was introduced to the newsroom staff, or to the whole staff, I guess, when he was announced as publisher, one thing that stuck with me that he said he wanted to see is authenticity all the time, authenticity in everything we do. And I really dug that term. That's great. Because that's, I mean, that should be a newspaper's franchise. Wonderful. Well, and wonderful so. to meet you. Hopefully yeah. you can come back again after you get your feet a little wet. I would wet love to do that. And see what's going yeah. on with the Welcome Des Moines home. Register. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And we can still have Reiko once a week, right? That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got you that. You can't get rid of me. All right. Um, it's uh, six minutes before nine o'clock. We'll be right back. You're watching Great Day Live.